Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm Divinely Destined. Welcome back to another reading. Excuse me, this is going to be a general message for the sign of Taurus. This is going to be a weekly message. Tauruses, if you are new to the channel, please like the video, subscribe to the channel. Also hit that notification bell to be alerted to all future readings. If you are interested in a personal reading, email me. I am available, Taurus. I pray that you guys have an awesome week. We are officially in Virgo season. Give your Virgo husband or wife an extra hug today or throughout this Virgo season. Yes, go see where Virgo is in your chart, Taurus, because I think a lot of you guys, I'm certainly here that there's a Taurus that has a Virgo moon, a Virgo Venus. You know, Virgos are efficient and proficient in life. These people uh, reach high level success statuses as well. Certainly much like you, Taurus and Capricorn. The earth signs are based in the material world. You know, earth signs, they like that money in the bank. They like their feet to be firmly planted on the ground. You know, Taurus in particular, they're even more, okay, they're, they're ruled by Venus, the planet of love. So they like nice things. They like luxurious, luxurious things. Now that doesn't mean that all Tauruses are rich, but they like nice, comfortable surroundings. And they like nice, nice, elegant food. And they like all things that are beautiful. Yes, Taurus. I have my rising in Taurus. So when, you, when we talk about the rising or the ascendant, this is how people first see you. Okay, when people first see me, they may perceive me as a Taurus, but I'm actually a Leo Virgo cusp. So go check out what your rising or ascendant sign is in if you have a little time. Also, Taurus, I have another channel. It's called Guided by Destiny. If you got some time today, please go check out that reading. I'm definitely seeing that some of you guys are connected to Leos. Some of you guys are married to Leos. Some of you guys are in some hot, passionate love affairs with some Leos. Beautiful. Archangel Michael, can I get some messages for the beautiful sign of Taurus? Wow. We got the Queen of Cups. We got Queen of Cups. You may be a mother here, Taurus. A father. A mother. I'm hearing a parental figure. Okay. A grandmother. You may be taking care of your sister's kids. She may be incarcerated or your brother's kids. He may be in tar um, incarcerated, Taurus. Yeah, you may be all in your feelings today, too. This may be a very emotional week for some of you. Tauruses. Wow. Yep, you may be all in your feelings. We got the Ten of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. Some of you guys are in your feelings because something is over. Something is certainly over for some of you. This could be a relationship. This could be a job. Some of you, got, some of you guys, in, Taurus males in particular... Yeah, you guys are physical, you know, physical workers. So you may be experiencing a lot of excruciating back pain, Taurus male. Okay, your body is sore, your back is hurting. Taurus woman, you just may be in a very emotional energy. You may be in some sort of grief period. You know, your husband is, he's down, he has some sort of work injury. Your boyfriend, your spouse, they have some sort of work injury. Or your partner, your person is not feeling their best. This has affected you deeply on the emotional level. Okay, if this is not about you having a partner being under distress or, you know, injured, this could be, you know, you're in your feelings because a relationship is over or a relationship that you're in is just not going well. Okay, it ain't going, it ain't going too well. Look, we got Libra energy with the two of swords. Two of swords. Wow, two of swords energy. I'm hearing, I'm hearing you got found out. Some of you guys got caught cheating, Taurus. Queen of Wands, Sagittarius energy. Some of you guys are just dealing with some sort of emotional issues. You're feeling a little insecure about some things. You may you may suspect your partner is not being faithful, or you just may you may you may have some insecurities within yourself that you're you're struggling with. I'm here to let you know with the Queen of Wands, you're very beautiful. Okay, you're very handsome. You stand out. Okay, you're very magnetic. Okay, I'm here. You're a powerful force, Taurus beautiful wow we got the ace of cups taurus i'm hearing taurus taurus cancer scorpio pisces energy yeah for some of you this is a this is just a relationship that is just not going well okay you got a lot of love there's a lot of love here you feel a lot of emotion towards this situation but it's just not going good or it's over or he's not okay your partner is not putting in that dedicated effort that it's going to take to make a relationship work they're giving you they're giving you the bare minimums here, Taurus. They're they're giving you the 
bare minimums. They're, I'm hearing this person is a slacker. Okay, what's the Queen of Cups? Queen of Cups, the magician. Okay, the magician. You may be connected to a Virgo or a Gemini. Don't worry. You have great capabilities and powers to make new beginnings for yourself, Taurus. This is what the magician is telling you today. You have all the tools in your arsenal to make things happen for yourself. And you have you have the ability to bounce back from this thing. And you will. Okay, you will. I'm hearing you're a strong survivor. You may have been born in Houston, Texas. Okay, we got the five of coins, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo energy. Someone just made you feel less than. Someone just didn't do their part. Someone wasn't your equal. This was this is not your match. This is not your best match, Taurus. Okay, this is somebody. Okay, for some of you, this is somebody that is a slacker. This is not someone that is going to put 100% into his relationship with you or her relationship with you. For some of you, you guys are down and sad because your partner is injured or they're not at their best peak level right now. And it's got you in your feelings. And, you, you know, the musician, he's here to let you know that that situation will certainly improve. It's going to improve. Okay. Wow. Wow. What's the two of swords? Cancerian energy. Cancerian energy. Yeah, you may be a law enforcement officer. You may be a paramedic. Yeah, you may work in you may work in mental health, Taurus. You may be a, a special ed teacher. I don't know why I'm hearing special ed teacher. Yeah, I'm hearing the word meta, metaphysics as well. Metaphysics. Queen of Wands. Queen of Wands, and we got the Emperor. Yep. For some of you, this is your. Oh, for some of you, this is your husband. This is your wife. They may be older than you, okay? It doesn't matter whether or not they're older than you, but your partner, your partner, their energy shows up. If you are with someone, Taurus, this person may certainly be, well, I'm hearing they may be getting ready to go to the hospital or they may have to have, you, they may have to be uh, transported in the ambulance to the hospital through due to some sort of back injury or some sort of injury that's got them literally down. They may be in some crippling pain. You can't do nothing for them. I mean, all you can do is feel their pain and get get them to the right medical professionals. That's for some of you. Some of you, the paramedics will be coming to pick this person up and taking them to the hospital. Okay, this is what I'm seeing, especially if your partner is older. Now, this may not be your partner. This could be a parent or someone you're taking care of. You may be a caretaker for someone, Taurus. Okay, you may work in a group home. A residential facility for the elderly or people with special needs and you regularly see the cops and you see the paramedics and there are always people transitioning in and out of this resident home that you work for yeah you may work with disabled people yes for some of you this is just simply about a relationship that is over someone not putting in their their full potential into your relationship for some of you this is about a relationship and your partner is down they've had some sort of injury or your part, your partner is worried about you, Taurus. You've had some sort of injury. Yeah, you you become disabled, possibly multiple sclerosis, Parkinson disease, some sort of neurological disorder. All's time is dementia. Okay, you're worried about this person. Wow, what's the Ace of Cups? The Ace of Cups. Beautiful. We got the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups. Yep, some of you guys have love offers coming in, Taurus. Some of you guys have love offers coming in, especially you single Tauruses. There's a lot of love here. Okay, there's a lot of love here, and a lot of you guys have offers that will be coming in. Yeah. Some of you guys are married. Some of you guys are single. You know, take the reading how it resonates for you and your particular situation. For you and your particular situation. Yeah. Some of you guys work for the Red Cross, or you have had to have the assistance of the Red Cross. Okay. Wow. We got the fool. We got the fool. I keep hearing that she's got the whole world in her hands. Yep. Some of you guys, point blank period, has just decided to leave a relationship and start a new, start afresh. You've been single for a while. There's opportunities of, um, there's opportunities to date. Okay. That's here. Taurus. Mel, I'm hearing Tars Mel. We got the moon card, Cancerian energy. Yeah. Some of you guys are quietly making plans to leave a situation behind. Yep, point blank period. You're secretly making plans to walk away from a situation. Your partner don't know how freaking close you are to leaving him. She doesn't know how close you are to leaving her. 
You're tired of putting up with their BS. You're tired of putting up with their deception. You're tired of putting up with their manipulation. And your own Taurus is like, man, I'm going to leave, but I'm going to be quiet about it, okay? You're making secret plans to leave this thing. Some of you guys left already, quietly. Or you guys just decided, you know what? I'm out. You left. Some of you guys are connected to a Libra born October the 19th, okay? Yep, some of you guys just decided to, you know what? This is not fulfilling me. I'm not growing here. I'm not growing in this relationship. I'm not even being emotionally fulfilled. I'm pouring all my love and emotions and everything into this thing. But my partner is only giving me 15% or 10%. Yeah. But you may have also married someone that was disabled. You may also be dating someone that has a hearing disability. Or you may have already, you may, you may have, you may be dating someone that's disabled. Or you may be married to someone and they became disabled or you're dating someone and they became disabled And you just felt like that was just too much of a burden for you You decided to leave this thing behind or you may be making some plans to secretly try to get out of it Okay, you say I'm young. I'm able-bodied. I can't do it. Okay. This is what I'm hearing Taurus say Okay, we got Aquarius energy Aquarius energy something is faded something is destined something is meant to be with the star card and I feel like, you know what? This is some sort of healing. This is some sort of healing. This person will be healed. Your partner will be healed for the ones that want to stick with him and stick with her through their medical issues. Okay, this person will get better. They will come back stronger than ever. I feel like for some of you, this is definitely, your partner is a law enforcement officer or a paramedic. Okay, I'm hearing a paralegal. This person may have suffered an injury at work. Yeah. Some of you guys are connected to Aquarius, Cancerians. Some of you guys are connected to Scorpios. We got the Tower and we got the World. Some of you guys are connected to Capricorns. I would, I always say that something always has to come to an end before something else can even start. Taurus. So there's certainly certainly something that had to come to an end. Or or make sure that you close the chapter and close the door and, and, and leave that in the past before you begin a new. Some of you guys have done that for some of you this is a breakup some of you for some of you this is an imminent breakup for some of you this is just you've been single for so long okay the opportunity to have a love connection is here as well perhaps you decided to cut off a connection with someone recently that you thought had potential but you see that it you know going forward you see it's not going to work out going forward you see that something ain't going to work out with someone here we got the empress and the emperor for some of you, this is your husband, this is your wife, okay? Divorce court, breakup, your husband has an injury, your wife had an injury. I'm hearing I'm hearing medical malpractice, okay? So if someone decided to walk away due to the fact that it just became too much to take care of a spouse that was disabled or to be in a situation where you're not being fully loved the way you're supposed to be or the way you want to be, you know, the way you should be. Look, we got the Nine of Swords, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. For some of you, Tauruses, some of you guys are married to, to guys that are older or you're dating guys that are older. They can't sexually fulfill you, okay? They're having some sexual sexual dysfunctions. Things are not as... Things are not operating as smoothly as they, as they used to for this man. He may be having some erectile dif di difficulties, okay? He's having some erectile difficulties, Due to the fact that it could be some sort of medication that he's on. He may not be in a mood because he's injured. He's in pain. He's cranky. He's moody. He works hard. He doesn't He doesn't necessarily, you know, express that to you. But he it, it shows in his physical body. He may not be able to perform sexually as he used to for you. This is causing you to have some problems as well, Taurus. Okay. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. We got the Four of Cups. Four of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy. Yeah. <laughs> I'm hearing somebody say, I ain't leaving my man. I ain't leaving my woman. Some of you guys are refusing to leave a situation that is not even, you know, it's just you, you're getting the bare minimum here. But you're, 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 you're not leaving for the fact that you want to stick this thing out and hopefully make it get better. You're praying for it to get better. That's for some of you. Okay. Some of you going to ride this wave and ride it out. Yep, some of you guys haven't heard from someone in a while here. There's some sort of message coming in. I'm hearing 
Yeah, the, the communication between you and your partner may be strained here. It may be very, very strained. You may be refusing to accept their calls, especially if you guys are divorcing or breaking up or you're going through a bitter divorce, okay? Yeah, you may have them blocked or the relationship just may be strained. But I'm certainly picking up on this this male, okay? Once again, I spoke about him having some issues with his arousal, okay? He may be having erectile dysfunctions, okay? His penis is not getting up as the way it used to. This is causing a lot of, a lot of, a lot of strife. And, you know, a lot of this is emotional for him, okay? Especially if he has an injury. Especially if he works hard on the emotional level, you know. Especially if he's in the public eye, a first responder. A lot of this goes to his mental and it's, 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 just, it's affecting his physical ability to please you. Wow. We got the ace. Okay, I'm hearing the ace of swords. So that um, the ace of swords means that's the truth. For some of you, this is about a partner that is struggling with some sort of disability, a work injury, or emotional situation that is affecting him physically. And thus, it's causing your whole relationship to suffer. For some of you, this is simply about a relationship that is just simply fizzled out. And you know, it, it, it didn't work out because the person wasn't giving you what you deserve. Okay? We got the ace. Okay, we got the page. I'm hearing the Ace of Swords. So, yeah, there's a lot of truth. That's the truth. There is that is a lot of truth in that statement. For some of you, you just was with somebody that just simply was not giving you what you rightfully deserve. We got the Page of Swords. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, Energy. For some of you, you got an ex that want to come back. They watching you. They stalking you. They masturbating. Still thinking about you. You may, you may, have, you may have told this person, I'm never coming back. Okay, you may have this person on block. They stressed you out. They put you through hell. What the hell you want to call me now, Tara? Say, what do you want? Okay. Look, the devil. Ooh, Capricorn energy. For some of you, this is the freaking devil, quite literally. This person is obsessed with you. You've already ended this or it's in the process of ending. Yet, for some of you, this is about someone having some sort of sexual dysfunction. Okay? Sexual dysfunction. I feel like for some of you, you're dating someone 20 years older than you. Okay? 20... 25 years older oh wow this person for some of you yeah this ex of yours you and this person has already closed this thing out but they're still watching you they're still trying to communicate or they still are masturbating thinking about you they still have some sort some sort of toxic ass tie to you okay yep they still have a toxic ass tie to you this may have been your husband your wife baby mama baby daddy Someone you live with, someone you were engaged to, someone you had a long-term commitment with. Okay, look, someone you had a long-term commitment with that broke your heart. Okay, they broke your heart. Yep, can I get final messages for the sign of Taurus? King of Swords, you had to go cold on them. You had to go cold. You may be in a very ruthless cutthroat energy with this person and you're not taking none of their bull crap. Taurus, if you left this person, it was absolutely for the best. For the ones that choose to hang in there and make their relationship work, honey, that's your choice. We all have free will. Some of you guys are dealing with people that, um, quite frankly, are injured. I pray for their well-being and full, full speedy recovery. Have a great week. Have a great week, Taurus. I love you.